Your friend Mona deserves to be drawn and quartered. And given what she's done, I understand you want to punish her. It's not why I came here. I just lost it. I've done worse. I once threw a bowl of soup across the room when visiting my dad. In a place much like this, worse. Wait, your dad wasn't in that house? For years. He checked out my life when I was 10. Traded our family room for the chaos inside his head. You made your friend down the hall seem downright chatty. She won't even apologize. Then you have to accept that, Hannah. You've lost someone whom you trusted. Then you might be grieving for the moaning you didn't know as much as for the one you did. Yeah, I'm getting really tired of losing people. And this is particularly hard because Mona's right in front of you. In clinical terms, we call it ambiguous loss. What? There's been a death, but it doesn't involve a body. Like when a soldier goes missing or a relative slips into dementia. They're gone, but yet still here.